हे गाइस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जेन इनोवेशन सो इन्वर्टर्स हम्बल मशीन्स विच टेक द डी सी एनर्जी फ्रॉम योर बैटरी बैंक और फ्रॉम योर सोलर पैनल एंड देन कन्वर्ट देम टू ए सी टू थर्टी वोल्स फॉर योर हाउस होल्ड अप्लायसेज गाइज इफ यू बिन फॉलोइंग माई चैनल रेगुलरली देन यू माइट बी वेल एंड अवेयर आई हैव सेट मेनी टाइम्स दैट लाइक ईच एंड एवरी मशीन द मशीन इज नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट एफिशेंट विच मीन्स दैट वेन दिस हम्बल इन्वर्टर्स टेक द एनर्जी फ्रॉम फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस डी सी ट्वेल्व वोल्ट बैटरी बैंक एंड कन्वर्ट्स इट टू ए सी वोल्टेज फॉर हाउस होल्ड अप्लायसेज देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ बिट ऑफ कन्वर्शन लॉस एंड येस आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेजर्ड अ माइक्रोटेक इन्वर्टर यू कैन फाइंड द वीडियो ओवर हियर इन द आई बटन और इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो द वीडियोज आर इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश यू कैन चूज टू वॉच एनी विच यू लाइक बट टूडे वॉट वी हैव एज अ यू टी एन गैमा प्लस विच इज द वन के वी ए ट्वेल्व वोल्ट एम पी पी टी सोलर पी सी यू एंड ऑन पॉपुलर डिमांड वी आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट द कन्वर्शन फैक्टर और यू कैन से द एफिशंसी फैक्टर वेन इट टेक्स द एनर्जी फ्रॉम बैटरी बैंक एंड कन्वर्ट्स इट टू डोमेस्टिक मेन्स वोल्टेज सो गाइज वॉट आई डू इज आई चेंज द वायरिंग अ लिटल बिट यू गाइज हिट दैट नाइस लिटल लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन डाउन बिलो एंड लेट्स बिगिन टूडेज एक्सपेरिमेंट ओके गाइज वेलकम बैक सो आई हैव चेंज द वायरिंग एंड लेट मी रन यू थ्रू दैट वॉट आई हैव डन सो द फर्स्ट थिंग आई हैव डन इज आई हैव कंप्लीटली डिस्कनेक्टेड द मेन्स इनपुट Uh, to this inverter so this guy is just uh, lying right here simple and idle the next thing i did is that i ran a bypass to my house load so that i don't sit in the darkness right uh, so here is how my house load is working it is not working with this inverter and if you want to learn how to uh, bypass the house load when your inverter is faulty or something then there's a dedicated video over here in the i button or in the description below the next thing i did is i removed my solar panel fuses so there is absolutely no solar energy available plus there is no uh, mains energy available which means that there is no confusion at this part okay uh, let me run you through the display so that you get a good idea what is happening over here so here let me show you the load is zero right load percentage is zero because nothing is running on this thing right now solar panel voltage is zero amperes of course they are going to be zero because the fuses are not in the place the fuse is right here it's in my hands all right so let's scroll further okay mains is off mains is absent so that is what the display says right now i'm just going to put this on the battery voltage window for now and for checking the voltage of the battery we will be using this window and for checking the amperage what i have is this amp meter so this amp meter is here in dc range and it is at zero right now and this amp meter will tell us the kind of amp draw which happens from this giant 300 ah battery bank plus i have this interesting bit over here so this is an actually this is an ac watt meter and this thing is connected over here to the back side of this uh, inverter as you can see using these nice uh, colorful wires and it will show us the ac side output consumption of the load and what is the load well the load is this thing so the load goes over here and here we see very uh, cute but uh, simply outdated incandescent bulbs each of these is 60 watts each and there's a good reason i have chosen to go with these incandescent bulbs because these things are pure resistive load with a power factor of 1 if you want to know more about power factor then there's an article in the description you can check it out so this is the kind of ideal load a very simple and known load for today's experiment so that sums up the setup if you want to buy anything from this setup be it these clamp meters the watt meter or even the solar pcu itself there are a lot of affiliate links in the description below please consider using them all right so do you guys want to start today's experiment yeah you want to great you guys hit that like button down below i'm going to hit this red button that will start this inverter or this ups and then we'll find out the efficiency factor all right 3 2 1 and there goes the bulbs have started working the meter has started working and to calculate i'm going to use this uh, calculator on the mobile phone and here we can see that the ac output being registered is 112 watts 112 watts are being drawn 
with these uh, two numbers of incandescent bulbs over here so so very cute but very inefficient and very outdated but they are good for measuring loads like these so yeah i'll give them a pass okay so now let's check at the dc side power consumption and the dc side power consumption is 10.8 amps okay 10.8 now what we can do is we can multiply this uh, 10.8 uh, by the battery voltage which is 12.4 at this moment so what i'll do is i'll use this uh, mobile phone so that was 10.8 into what is it yeah 12.4 right so the dc side energy consumption of this load is 133 watts now you can say almost it's 134 watts and the output section is 113.6 watts so to find out the efficiency what we can do is uh, i'm going to go with 113 okay i'm going to divide it by 133 what was that 133.9 or something yeah something like that okay and i'm going to multiply this by 100 that gives us the percentage so here we can see that uh, this inverter is 84 percent efficient uh, that is surprisingly good actually and i believe that this is also there because my uh, battery bank is pretty strong and it does not let the voltage drop down below 12 once once this thing uh, goes down below 12 the inverter needs to work harder and hence the efficiency also drops down the same thing will happen when you apply a very high load the efficiency comes down so the efficiency of these inverters is pretty good uh, i'll say somewhere in the middle of their range so you don't want a very small load on them right let me turn this thing off so that we can talk uh, without wasting the energy right so what happens is if you have a very small load connected say if you have a, a simple mobile charger connected to the back of this thing then the majority of the consumption will be taken up by the idle consumption of this inverter right if you don't know about the idle consumption or the self power consumption or idle draw of these units i have dedicated video over here that explains as well as measures everything so with a small load the idle consumption is going to take the bulk of the consumption right and at a very high load the battery voltage is going to drop and hence it again becomes inefficient so if you want your inverter to work efficiently you should plan to keep it somewhere around the middle of the load so i'll say somewhere between 20 percent to 60 or 70 percent of the load is the most efficient range an average of 40 or 50 percent is the best that is what uh, i have seen as per my experiments so here we can conclude that uh, this kind of a uh, util gamma plus 1 kva unit has an actual efficiency of uh, 84 or 85 percent which is actually surprisingly good considering this is a simple uh, transformer uh, type inverter and this is yes this this thing is with a resistive load so if you have an inductive load if you have a capacitive load so for example if you have computers or fans or motors or you know other cfl bulbs connected then of course the efficiency will be coming down all right so i hope you like these kind of experiments if and if you want to see more of these experiments there's a whole playlist waiting for you in the description below the playlist is known as solar energy please go ahead and check it out so that's it for this little experiment guys i hope you liked it take care and have a nice day